There are basically four types of primitives. The major ones, polyhedra, metaballs, and nerves, can be accessed from the primitive library or the primitive toolbar. The deformation primitives, the fourth type, are found on the toolbar. The tan polyhedra primitives are the only ones this course will cover. The others are covered under separate courses. There are basically three modes for creating polyhedra that can be set from the preferences panel. The most basic is automatic. In this mode, clicking on one of the primitives will create a primitive centered over the origin. Each click will create a new primitive. Each new primitive must then be moved out of the way so as not to hide the next one created. The default creation properties are displayed with a right click on the primitive icon. Each primitive has its own set of controls. Once a primitive is created according to the current parameters, the settings for that primitive cannot be changed while in automatic mode. Changing the settings will change the properties of the next primitive created only. These settings are saved from session to session. The next mode is scalable with the magic ring off. In this mode, selecting a primitive will change the cursor to a new mode and the corresponding toolbar icon will highlight. Notice the little box tagged to the pointer. The pointer tag and the highlight mean the creation process is dynamic. A primitive will appear at each location I click on the grid. While in this mode, any changes made to the primitive properties, accessible by a right click at any time, will update the last active primitive and be applied to the next one created. An alternative method of creating a primitive in this mode is as follows. Click and drag with the left mouse button to create the base. Then right click and drag in Z while releasing or holding the left mouse button to create the height. Note that the object properties panel is updated in real time during the creation process. With rounded shapes, such as a sphere or rounded cube, you simply click and drag. Right clicking on the grid, selecting the object tool or hitting the spacebar turns off this mode. Moving, rotating, or scaling the primitive will also turn it off. The third mode is scalable with the magic ring on. This is a very powerful mode that will be fully explained in later tutorials. Here are the basics. Right clicking on the primitive or toolbar icon before it is highlighted will bring up the standard properties panel. In dynamic mode, after selecting a primitive, a right click will bring up the primitive shape and parameters toolbars. In this mode, a primitive will be created at each point that I click as well. But in this case, there is a magic ring displayed for manipulating the parameters. I can also create a primitive by clicking and dragging as demonstrated previously. While in this mode, all the properties, parameters, and shape controls are fully dynamic and will update the last active primitive. This mode is also turned off by a right click on the grid or selecting the object tool or other tools as demonstrated before. As with all the modes, once a primitive has been set, either by creating or selecting another or activating a tool, the dynamic adjustments are turned off. A new primitive must be created to activate them again.